Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths Most Wanted. Part 1, I guess, of uh, the new and improved Singularity Most Wanted. Because, as I uh, discussed in my last video, which I believe was talking about anti Megalodon crams, I'm gonna break up uh, some uh, Most Wanted videos into uh, nice, neat chunks. Uh, so that we can talk at length about specific things that work, and also so I can actually put out um, these videos a little bit more often, because if you just leave me to my own devices, figuring out how to... Well, not just figuring out how to take on a certain in-game craft, but also actually getting around to building things that can do it, uh, we're going to be waiting a while. So, we're going to break it down a bit, and today we're talking about uh, APS guns, which I found work on the Singularity, which was kind of a pain in the butt... And it took me a while, and probably all the APS masters in the audience are going to be saying, like, hmm, it's not that hard, in which case, well, good good on you for not thinking it's hard. But in any case, so, a number of things I've learned that I am going to share with you today, and um, two, if nothing else to take away from this video, is that uh, with the singularity, and I'm going to spawn in the singularity, uh, just as a kind of... A visual aid uh, for what we're for what we're on about. Wait, that's not that's not the right faction. That's not even the right section. Uh, let's spawn in our friend the Singularity. So, the Singularity is a big big girl. She's a big scary lassie. And um, intro. Oh yeah, I've got Onyx Watch fleet colors at the moment. Let's switch that back to my regular black and white fleet colors because that looks pretty dope. Okay, what are we talking about? Well, this is, um, actually, I think this is actually the most uh, scary uh, thing in From the Depths at the moment. And, um, not surprisingly, because uh, the folks who, back in the day, it has actually been a while, um, they put a lot of tender loving care into this thing, and it shows. And in particular, um, there's two things to note here. Firstly, is that this, uh, craft actually has a pretty darn strong lamb, so... Yeah, it's a zero Q lambs, and sustained damage per second is around 31,000 with a very high AP, so using smoke on this thing doesn't really do anything because it's got excessive amounts of armor piercing, and it does a lot of damage, and so, uh, since this is a big, heavily armored endgame craft, you might be tempted with APS to use big shells, and I would suggest you resist that temptation because I tend to find that uh, big shells... Uh, get shot out of the air by the zero Q lambs uh, pretty easily. Not uh, helped by the fact that it's got munition warners right on the front here. And yeah, so uh, it spots uh, the heavy uh, big shell coming in and then fries it. In fact, we can demo this right now uh, with something that lobs lots of big shells. In fact, we can demonstrate that quite handily with our friend the trebuchet over here. So. Trebuchet lobs a lot of 500mm uh, APS shells, and yeah, they're not as fast as APS shells can get, uh, but uh, they are still pretty fast, and they are actually fast enough to catch the Singularity, I think, but um, you can see over... Okay, let's go here, 500mm shell, Singularity is around 300 meters away, so 300 meters away it gets zapped. And even smaller shells um, can actually, well, they either don't do enough damage or they get zapped uh, pretty easily. Also, those uh, lasers are able to zap uh, missiles from an embarrassingly long, long distance away. So let's see... Again, when that missile gets fired. It's kind of off-topic, but... Um, yeah, let's see what happens here... Oh, the laser's gonna fire. They probably don't... Yep, they are. So, uh, problems multiple when trying to shoot at the Singularity is because its active defenses are really, really good. In particular, the lambs means that big APS shells, uh, you're gonna have a hard time with them. That was the wrong button. Um, let's hop back over here, onto our fortress, and so... And, oh, wait, the second thing. I should have mentioned the second thing. So... The second thing is, is that big ABS shells are... You're gonna be kind of out of luck a little bit with that. 
And uh, the other problem is that um, you need fast shells to catch the Singularity because it side strafes and scuttles along at uh, 60 meters per second. I think it's, it is going sideways right now at 60 meters per second. Well, no, it's going forwards at the moment, but I think it moves sideways just as fast because... What the hell, man? There we go. Alright, so uh, the main... Not that, not that, not that, not that. Not that, not that, not that. I want the other thing. Okay, so, just want to shrink blocks now. So, uh, genius armoring in the Singularity is that the front of this thing, I think almost the first uh, third of this, yeah, so it's all the way back to here. Uh, first fifth, maybe. Uh, this, uh, These two pointy nose cones are all armor, and they're stuffed full of uh, heavy armor wedges, which take... Very much reduced damage from any form of kinetics, so uh, any kind of armor piercing round is going to do jack diddly against the front of this thing for the most part. Uh, because, yeah, it's just the armor's too thick and there's a lot of stuff like that. So, you're kind of. Uh, kinetics are simultaneously uh, good against the singularity because they do have good armor piercing and they do do lots of damage and they can catch the darn thing, which side strafes around uh, like a crazy person. Uh, but on the other hand, against the front, you are still going to have a really time of harm burrowing through it. It is possible, but it's not quick. So, uh, in regard to that, and I've remembered uh, last time uh, learning from my mistakes here. Let's hop on here. So, this is about as big a shell as I've found actually works, and you do need to chuck a lot of them. This is a 150mm Sabo round, or Sabo. No one actually agrees on how that's pronounced. So, 3 meter clips, and the lots of armor pierce, 84.5, because remember, the Singularity has a load of ring shields inside it, uh, which ups the armor uh, rating even more. Uh, 2,300 kinetic damage, not a huge amount. And, uh, so yeah, but these things, these guns aren't extra extravagantly huge. Uh, they do, unfortunately, have a lot of stuff up in the turret cap, so this isn't a perfect example, but... Uh, this is more the shell type and the kind of rate of fire you want. So, 242.9 uh, rounds per minute. And you have three of these. That's, um... Uh, do I remember how to math? Uh, 600 plus 120 is around 720 rounds per minute or so. And so, this thing can damage the singularity at the very least. It can scratch the paint on it, so... We go here, chuck in the singularity. I should also mention as well uh, what the aim point uh, on this thing is like. And uh, let's go here. Let's see. Here. Can we find the aim point? Yes, we can. So, it uh, focuses on one block for about 10 seconds because that's very handy for uh, burrowing into uh, deep into a craft, which you kind of need with things like the singularity because. Uh, but there's so much armor on it, and there's so much metal and heavy armor in particular that just scratch, uh, just uh, ripping chunks off uh, the outer layer uh, isn't going to stop it from shooting at you, and isn't going to put it down to the water where it so rightfully belongs. So you do need to kind of penetrate as far in as you can, uh, disrupt those essential explodey fragile systems. Also clusters of blocks. I tend to use this so often because uh, you want to go for the dense parts of the craft. Uh, rather than the outside edges, uh, which will means you miss a lot more. So, bang, 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 very fast shell, so I should actually show you the muzzle off of this. Here's around almost 2,000 meters per second, so 1,900. So we are uh, tearing strips off the singularity uh, bit by bit, and this looks good, but remember, lots of armor on this thing, and uh, it is still shooting at us, so uh, the trick to... Well, winning a fight in well in general, but in front of the test especially, is to uh, hurt them enough and quickly enough uh, so that they, they stop hurting you. And um, so yeah, this is a problem because the singularity will be able to shrug off a lot of this. And you'll notice occasionally the little flash of lambs right there. If we turn down time a lot, this is weird. I've noticed that um, that lambs actually is a much more reliable, and this is kind of a bug or exploit, I guess. Uh, the lambs zap shells far more frequently when you slow time down 
um, than when you set it to max. So you see there a lot more shells are getting through. There's actually blocks flying off as opposed to when we slow time way the heck down, at which point, yeah, it looks like, yep, the singularity has managed to catch up. We're still kind of scratching the paint a little bit, but I think only because... Yeah, we, have we destroyed all the munition mortars? We almost destroyed all the munition mortars. But yeah, so keep that in mind is that if you're having to... Uh, if you're using shells like this, um, the lambs might actually zap more of them. So uh, try to... I guess, well, there's not an awful lot you can do about it except upgrade your computer so you can run these things at max frame rate. So yeah, this is about, in my experimentation, about 150 millimeters is the biggest shell I've been able to consistently get away with. I would actually recommend going smaller than that. 100 millimeters is um, about as big as regularly you want to get. Uh, even that sometimes gets shot out of the air. So how are we doing? We are zapping bits off the singularity and um, the looks of it... Uh, this laser's not firing at us. This laser... What's this laser doing? How far are we getting in here? So you see here, this whole uh, internal sloping structure here is very, very resistant um, to, like, kinetic span. And, like, in here, we've managed to kind of poke holes uh, in the lambs a bit, but eh, it's not doing a hell of a lot. There's no... I don't think there's really any quick, easy way to dispose of the singularity without using uh, horribly glitchy exploits that I know not which they are. But yeah, so kinetics, that's about as big as you can get, 150 millimeters. Um, I should mention as well that none of the guns I'm showing you are rail guns because I tend to find that with rail guns, well, firstly, I'm not super good at making pure rail guns, I freely admit, but also I find that it's better to make a non rail gun shell, see if that works well, and then you can just pour some rail gun juice into it and it gets even better. So this shell, for instance, is mostly. Uh, with the gunpowder and max rail draw is about 4,294 so let's go uh, here and it's got probably too much armor pierce now so we probably could change the shell a little bit but yeah that's pretty much um, you could do this quite easily just with the shell and suddenly the thing's also a lot faster that's probably the main thing but even then you could just chuck uh, 1,000 uh, rail draw into this and suddenly it's just that little bit better. So rail assist tends to beat pure rail gun in terms of efficiency. So uh, We've got this fella and actually I can just do this through the magic of signs. So 150 millimeter Sabo and then um, uh, Pen depth shells are a bit of a Interesting beast and hash these three things are all 83 millimeters because 83 millimeters is small enough that the lambs can't really pick them up properly and um, So this is just the one and this is I freely admit one of the worst turret caps I've ever made and the reason it's like this is because um, The problem with using very uh, gunpowder heavy shells is that you need a lot of Well, you need a lot of cooling and you also need a lot of recall absorption so it really helps to plan ahead of time uh, like, just what kind of anti-singularity... Oh my goodness, I actually missed a point there. I'm so embarrassed. Let's just fill this in, uh, quickly. Uh, like so. Because, uh, me embarrassed. Me embarrassed, I should have, uh, fixed that. But anyway, so, uh, do plan ahead when making your APS. I was just kind of doing science and seeing what I can get away with. Uh, this shell is a little bit slower, uh, than the other one, but, uh... 83 millimeters and much better armor piece. It's around 61.5, which means it does do full damage uh, to unstacked heavy armor, which unfortunately the singularity is nothing but stacked heavy armor, or so it feels like. So we load in the singularity. Similar thing there, I think this thing aims for clusters, and it has a ridiculously good rate of fire. So about uh, the 1,700. And you see it's spiking up there, the lambs isn't really doing anything. Uh, because those shells are so small, the munition warners can't really spot them. So the extra AP, I think, helps a lot. And so, probably with the Singularity, if you want to use APS, you need small, very fast AP shells. And that kind of does the trick. 
And thankfully, this new uh, singularity doesn't do what the old one does, which is randomly warp and throw off your targeting, so it's actually slightly easier uh, to hit it with fast APS and railguns especially, so that's quite handy. And you can see just a constant stream of block confetti. We've already taken 1% health off. Very handy dandy. Now you make a bigger version of this, uh, possibly pour some railgun juice into it. Uh, you make, uh, you'll be able to take down the singularity. Of course, the question is then surviving with the singularity is throwing straight back at you. Basically, you have to beat it at its own game, uh, so to speak. So, uh, that's uh, that particular shell type that's 83 uh, millimeters. Uh, Sabo? Sabo? Sabot? Sabot. It's Black Sabot, the band. Alright, so we go here, and a similar thing with Kinetics. Here's three of these things, and uh, not quite the same turret, so I kept reinventing the wheel uh, over and over. So this one, I believe, uses slightly this. Yeah, this is a slightly shower, slower shell to reliably hit the singularity. This isn't even connected. Yeah, this is the, the product of a lot of science. Uh, at length, and you can tell that my brain was kind of malfunctioning occasionally. With stuff like this, this is why I can't do a video all in one go, Singularity Most Wanted. It'd be too hard for my tiny brain. Also, this is very improvised Tetris in here. Like I said, uh, what you really should be paying attention to is the shell type, the muzzle velocity, and the fire rate. So, 1200 RPM, 83 millimeter, uh, 1113 meters per second. Let's have a look at the shell. So, uh, I'm not a huge fan of this uh, kind of anti-singularity shell because their armor pierce isn't very good. It's a fuseless penetrator, which is viable now. Uh, the the real, only real difference is that it's a, a slightly better at shredding uh, the outer layer of metal off the uh, off the outside of the singularity, and also uh, it is a little bit better at um, just trimming uh, the barrels off the APS and uh, shredding the munition warners off and the lambs nodes and in particular disabling the laser on it. So this is kind of um, a preemptive shutting down of the Singularity's weapon systems more than actually killing it. It probably helps to, you know, just make a giant, like, thing with way too many giant miniguns on it. So it goes brrrr. And do we have decent block confetti? We do. And so the problem with using uh, kind of, well, frag penetrators is that, um, well, those frags do almost nothing to heavy armor. Uh, they do spread out a little bit, and they do... Let's see what's happening here. So we are getting in there. We're not doing as great a job as we could be, unfortunately. So I wouldn't strongly recommend this one. But this is uh, good once you finally do burrow into the Singularity a little bit and start uh, wrecking its internals, because those frags spread out. And they do horrible things to, like, custom jets and engines and ring shields and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, this I'd call this the backup gun, really. In particular, what it's really good at is hopefully... Yeah, I think it's already uh, shut down... Uh, yeah, one of the lasers are on this uh, side turret here. Yeah, I only see one laser point firing. And that's what Frag's really good at, yeah. Let's see here, what's happened here? It's kind of broken... Unless it just can't, uh, it's at the wrong firing angle, which is also a possibility. Maybe it only ever fired out of one to begin with. Who knows? Who knows? Only the nose knows. But yeah, we're still getting decent block confetti, but, um... Yeah, wouldn't strongly recommend uh, this one, like I said. How are we doing? We are getting to 97%, but um, like I said before, it's like um, d uh, getting the health percentage of the Singularity down is one thing. Uh, but you like it does matter which blocks you're actually destroying, because right now, as you can probably see, we're really just like peeling off the outer layer. And the Singularity has a very thick and strong outer layer, so... That's good, but it could be better. In particular, like you, this is where a lot of the fire is landing, and this really isn't, you know, there's not a huge amount of difference being made here. But yeah, so it's going to take a while to actually get this thing uh, down uh, to a level that, well, I guess the laser really only does come out the one laser barrel. Interesting. So, that is... Uh, that's that little fuseless frag penetrator. 
And last but not least, since like, and probably at least a few people were screaming at me to show this off. Uh, assuming you didn't see it in the vehicle loading menu. Uh, hash. So, taking what we've learned and um, applying it. Okay, so we can't use big shells. And yes, this is the same uh, turret we would have seen before. It's probably got too much recoil. Well, actually, nah, it's fine. So this is just me swapping out uh, the kinetic components just with, you know, very simple two HE bodies and a squash head. It's just a fast uh, hash shell over 1000 meters per second. Uh, damage isn't great. Uh, explosive damage is like non-existent, but um, this thing, uh, these things do fire at around, well, 1746.2 uh, rounds per minute, so they fire very quickly. So. And the great thing about Hesh is that, unlike uh, pure kinetics, uh, wedges are not a hard counter to it. Like, sure, if um, if a Hesh shell, if the Hesh spalling, uh, the kinetic damage that those fragments do, uh, wedges are going to stop that a lot better than, well, most things. But if you get a direct hit on a wedge uh, with that squash head, it, the thump is just going to travel through it, and spalling will come off it just like any other block, which is handy. Also... Uh, the spalling has a very high uh, armor penetration factor because, you know, it's spawning from heavy armor blocks and metal boxes like that. So, chemical penetrators, fast chemical penetrators. This is what I reckon I would um, absolutely recommend for the singularity. Uh, because, well, there's only so much you can do uh, against chemical penetrators uh, when you do stuff like this. Also, much better at uh, frying... Um, well, stuff like smoke, stuff like... Let's have a look at uh, things here. Well, we've immediately uh, taken out uh, ring shields. And, yeah, that's a lot of ring shields. Yeah, ring shields. Like, I, where did we hit even for that? And just generally, uh, that spawning gets in there and does nasty, nasty work. Let's see there. Yep. So this is where we're starting to see good components come off. And I believe, yeah, like that smoke you see is like smoke generators being popped. Or smoke projectors. What was that? That looked important. Uh, that was... No, that was a block. Yep, there we go. So if you want to uh, use this kind of uh, uh, small minigun hash in combination with a laser, that might be the way... Uh, to make lasers feasible against the Singularity, because uh, I have tested uh, lasers uh, against the Singularity, and I freely admit I'm not super great with lasers, uh, but um, the Singularity is actually pretty laser-proof. It's got a lot of smoke on it, and uh, though I think, um, yeah, also the fact that continuous lasers scatter so much, and that's uh, what gets you high AP, uh, that does kind of make it a little bit difficult to consistently a damage to the singularity and yep we're destroying storage and laser storage we weakening the lambs so just peppering this thing with hash and yes it's hash not heat uh, because you want that extra AP and also the singularity has basically nothing in terms of spore liner or at least as far as I can tell so yeah we also appear to have turned off at least one of the lasers no nope, never mind they're both still activated I counted my chickens before they hatched how are we doing? We're down 2% health, and now our guns are reloading a little bit. So yeah, this is, um, like I said before, if nothing else to take away, if you want to shoot at the Singularity with APS, uh, keep your rounds small, keep them fast, and have them either be like very high AP kinetic rounds, or uh, just full-blown hash, like fast, fast little hash. Don't go above 150 millimeters if you can help it, that lamps is just going to pop. Uh, most of it straight out of the sky. It's very intermittent fire what we're getting over there. I wouldn't want to worry too much about traces either, because the volume of fire seems to be more helpful here. So, what are we doing here? How are we doing? We're kind of going in there. You can see, yeah, we're carving out a little cavity right there. Great thing about Hesh is that it's very good at exploiting weak points. So, and hopefully, if we keep consistently hitting that, um, that tunnel of wedges from the side, it doesn't have so much uh, damage reduction. It's still not a fast way to, uh, kill the Singularity, because, let's face it, um, there's, I don't think there's really any fast way to kill the Singularity. It's a heavy armor brick. I mean, you could ram it, 
Yeah, you need to get near the darn thing, though. Um... I mean, I'm the old style uh, graviton ram th rams could possibly like uh, flip it, but they're not around anymore. So, not much you can do there. And we still got the problem is that facing the thing head on. If you had something that um, uh, flies above uh, the altitude of the singularity, angle of fire is very important. Like uh, getting underneath it is probably not going to be a very good idea or very feasible, but getting just slightly above it. So. Uh, idea, idea for people. So, this thing's altitude, altitude, altitude. Uh, physics, altitude is about 66 meters. If you have something uh, flying, like, maybe at 100 meters altitude, so it's firing slightly down on the singularity, uh, that's probably one of your best ways to bypass this uh, tunnel of armor right here, because if we go over here... Yeah, so see, I, there's actually, um, by the looks of it, there's... Uh, yeah, so here's where all the custom jets are. So it just comes down a small arc landing on this area here. You'll take out uh, the custom jets. And over here, yep, no spaced armor up here. You can take out fun stuff like the steam engine and stuff like that. So yeah, hitting it from behind is probably going to be very difficult. Unless you flank it with more than one craft. But yeah, so I do want to see this thing die though. It's going to take a long time because, like I said, the people, and multiple people, uh, they put a lot of work into this thing. And I'm just one dude who is not a From the Depths expert. I just make the tutorials. Let's see, how are we doing? Are we getting anywhere in here? We are actually getting, I think, in a more effective way. Yeah, because we're tunneling through the middle here and we're starting to get into that juicy wedge section. Let's assist these guns a little bit. Let's aim for over here. Oh, they're reloading. Never mind. We cannot assist you. Yeah, part of the trick with the singularity is because this thing takes so long to kill, you're gonna have to... You're gonna have to uh, figure out a way to deal with that, which by the look, looks of it is just good anti-missile defense, um, a strong lamps to zap these big shells, Let's see how big these shells are. These are pretty chunky shells. Also, they're mostly kinetic, so they've got a lot of health. Good luck with that. And, um, and yeah, lots of smoke for the lasers. You fire and burst, and that annoys me. So, yeah, that's basically it for this, I guess, uh, first entry into how to kill the singularity. It's like, APS is one of your best bets. Uh, most things... Most weapon types don't really work well against the Singularity at all. Missiles are a no-go for the most part. I've tried it. Uh, you need a ridiculous amount of missiles in order to even scratch this thing. Because uh, it's just got, you know, the fact that its main combat lasers can zap missiles out of the air. And it's got so many missile interceptors. Now that's not a no-go. Crams, forget it. You're not going to hit it. Uh, particle cannons are what I'm going to be investigating next. Um, they could work, but you need a big one, I think. Yes! Oh, thank Christmas, we're starting to damage the custom jets. We're starting to damage the custom jets, and that makes me so happy. This thing's... Hey! 6% health lost. Perfect! Oh, we're starting to get in here. Oh, yes! Oh, yes, oh, yes. We're starting to mess with this thing's yaw a bit. Oh, that looks important. What was that? Oh, hello. That's a... Uh, oh, yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see... I'm tempted to let the video just roll uh, until uh, the singularity actually dies, but you know what, I think I might stop it right there. Maybe I'll show it, maybe I won't. So, uh, let's just, whoa, hello. See, every time I think eh, nothing's happening, then something happens, so. How's this work again? Oh, control caps off. This is not a flattering view of the Singularity. Well, it's a flattering view of our shells, I guess. So, thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters. And I will see you next time in From the Depths, The Singularity, Most Wanted. And if you have any suggestions for stuff that works well against this, uh, The Singularity, I hate this camera angle, uh, do let me know. I want to hear it. I want to hear all of it. Farewell.